Hello. I'm going to tell you why I love classic film and classic people and all that. I did a how to get into classic film video and I kind of explained why but this is more like why I like it so much. I'm not bashing new movies although kind of. <laughs> um, but I was watching The General yesterday with Buster and it's silent. And yeah, it was one. Of, it's one of the funniest movies ever made. And there's no spoken words. It's all title cards and the action. And it's amazing what that can do. Like what an facial expression can do, or physical comedy can do. And Buster was amazing at it. And I feel like. Now everything has to be explained in order to have the joke be funny. But back then when that silent film, it was funny because of the actions and the scene. It was no words, it was just the action, the pitfalls, the innocence that Buster had, his characters had, that was just really funny. How he would get mad at and and odd um objects that like chipped him or hurt him he would take it out on that object and it was funny and he fell he tripped he had so many gags and they were all brilliant and they weren't overused so it was always funny and I feel like now if there's a gag that works it's overused so much that it's not funny anymore um and I love classic film because they weren't trying to be anything. They were just trying to make a movie. And um, they were trying to do a good job. And a lot of actors back then, they didn't have a lot of money when they passed. Um, not because they were like reckless with it. Because they didn't get paid enough or a lot back then. And it's different now because back then they only played movies once and that was it. They didn't play them again. So they didn't get the money from the revenue or, you know, if it's in the theater they get paid every time it's shown. I guess. I don't know. But back then they showed it once. So they weren't really working for the big money. They were just working to work pretty much. And... Um, y'all did a wonderful job, and there's a video someone made called, Please, called the song Please Remember, it had all these classic couples, and I've been watching it over and over again, and watching all these, uh, videos that people make of classic films and classic stars, and it just makes me so nostalgic for something that I was never a part of, in a weird way, like, I'm just like, all these people are gone, and... It just, you know, hits you sometimes, or hits me when I'm watching a classic film. They love everyone in it, and they realize they're all gone, and they're not here. And it's just kind of weird in a lot of ways. Um, because I love Gregory Peck, I love Cary Grant, I know them holding, and they're not all here now. And it's just, um, it's a weird things sometimes and it makes it kind of sad when I go about it too much and I'm watching a movie like oh they're not here um and I kind of wonder what they would think about us being able to watch them in our home like on DVD and Blu-ray they'd be like what <laughs> what is that um but I don't really talk about why I like it I'm talking about classic film now but it's just I love the history I love history I love the history of classic film and get to look at the actor's information and learn about him. And it's a history lesson every time you watch a new movie from a classic film, um, from classic Hollywood, because you're getting to see what it was like in that, at that time period and get to see their growth over time in the world or in Hollywood or, you know, you just, you got to see what things are like and, um, 
in a different time. And you can look up a movie and get all this backstory on it and maybe the drama behind the scenes of a lot of movies and there's a lot of um, classic Hollywood couples that it's fun to look back on their journey and if they make a lot of movies together it's just fun to see their journey go from maybe not knowing each other to getting married to later in their life as a married couple it's just um, it's fun and you get to look up the history of the couples and learn their backstory and how they met and maybe their ups and downs in the relationship and a lot of hidden information in all the all these classic films and all these classic relationships and people and all the classic actors are so much you can learn and it's an educational thing to watch classic films, love classic people and couples and classic books and TV. There's so much to look back on and kind of educate yourself on. And I just love it. I love classic film. And I don't understand people who don't want to watch it because they think it might be bad. But it's been it's still here. <laughs> and it's here for a reason. And if it was bad, it probably wouldn't be talking about it anymore. So there's a reason that it's still talked about and people still watch it and people care about it cause, because it's good. So, um, to my little talk today. <laughs> Another thing else to talk about, and I wanted to do a video how I did this, and if you like classic film, give this video a thumbs up, please do that, <laughs> and comment, definitely, and subscribe if you want, you know, <laughs> to talk about movies and whatever. So, yeah, that is all.